दिस पास्ता इज जस्ट बड़ी आई फूड ब्लॉगर तमीज तो सीख ले पहले वेन एवर ए न्यू रेस्टोरेंट ओपन अप इन इस्लामाबाद दिस टू काइंड ऑफ इस्लामाबाद इज शिट पता नहीं खाना कैसा होगा इस्लामाबाद ऑलवेज गारंटीज प्रिटी प्लेस एंड ग्रेट वेदर बट कैन इट रियली गारंटी गुड फूड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू चेक आउट द न्यूली ओपन कैफे बिब्लियो इन एफ सिक्स वेन एवर आई वॉक इन टू एनी कैफे और रेस्टोरेंट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर मी इज अंदर बैठना है या बाहर बैठना है Cafe Biblio has both indoor and outdoor dining. They also have a mini library inside with lots of books to choose from. At first glance, the venue seems very nice, but after taking a quick round, I felt a bit confused. It's got the layout of a bookstore with the decor and seating of a restaurant with the hustle and bustle of a very noisy cafe. It was so noisy that my friends and I decided to sit outdoors. Let's move on to the food. The menu was quite confusing. They had a bunch of burgers and sandwiches, followed by some pizzas and pastas. But then they also had some steaks and continental mains, and then all of a sudden, some Lebanese food also popped up on the menu. So for the first item, we decided to play it safe and ordered one of the pizzas. We ordered the spicy chicken romano. Our pizza arrived, and I'll be honest, it seemed pretty decent, with a decent crust and a good amount of toppings on it. It's really hard to do a bad pizza. Actually, I've noticed pizza is one of those foods which you'll end up finishing even if it's terrible. Okay, let me just start by saying, if you were expecting this to be an authentic pizza, authentic Italian style pizza, it was not. Typical desi style. देसी स्टाइल बट विद विद एन इटालियन बेस इट्स इट्स फ्यूजन इट्स नॉट वाइल्ड स्टाइल वॉज स्टिल डिवरिंग माई फर्स्ट लाइफ ऑफ पिज्जा आर ड्रिंक्स अराइव आई एल बी ऑनेस्ट आई वॉज वेरी इंट्रीग्ड बाई दिस वन ड्रिंक ऑन द मेन्यू देर वर्जन हलाल बियर really really like this coffee That's what it tasted like, and it was delicious. It was really refreshing and a nice change. Next, we ordered shish tok from their Lebanese grill, and at first glance, it looked really nice. The chicken looked great, and so did the salad that came with it. The chicken was also super tender, and I was pleasantly surprised. Shish tok is supposed to be very garlicky and lemony, so I was a bit disappointed that that was not the case. It's a bit bland. The quantity of hummus was also way too less, and so was the bread that came with it. It was barely enough for one person. All in all, I would say it was quite an average attempt, but it wasn't terrible. किसी भी रेस्टोरेंट में दो तरह की लड़कियाँ होती हैं एक जो चुपचाप पेट के खा रही होती हैं और एक जो पीछे पोज कर रही होती हैं I am actually both. The last item we ordered was cacio e pepe, which is a very popular Italian pasta. This dish. is not supposed to have white sauce and definitely is not supposed to have chicken in it i'd ordered keeping in mind that they had called this cacio e pepe so that's what i was expecting i've had this dish in italy and it was nothing like this and as you can tell i wasn't too happy about seeing chicken in this dish it's supposed to be a vegetarian pasta the sauce too felt very stringy and overflowing with cheese which is not how it's supposed to be 
Why did they put chicken in this? मुझे ये नहीं समझ आ रही I'm so offended. I'm not even Italian and I'm offended. The thing is, I have no issues if if a dish is advertised as a fusion pasta. By all means, put whatever you. उसमें भिंडी भी डाल दें. I don't care. If you're advertising it as cacio e pepe, which is a hardcore Italian pasta, authentic Italian pasta, then don't put chicken in it. It's just supposed to have cheese, pepper. That's it. And emulsify it in pasta water. It was so overflowing with white sauce. It was literally jumping out of the plate. There's white sauce everywhere. This pasta is so bad; it's making me look bad. What jaga white sauce hai? If I were to rate this pasta, I would definitely give this a two out of ten. It was just overall very bland. So this one gets a two out of ten. The shish tok was an okayish effort. I would give that maybe a six out of ten. Moving on to the pizza, I'd say. For a fusion pizza, it was pretty decent, so I'd give this a seven and a half out of ten. And lastly, the virgin beer halal was quite a treat, and I strongly recommend that you try it. However, it was quite overpriced. This one, I'd give a nine out of ten. I might have given this a ten out of ten if it wasn't so overpriced. That was honestly the most confused vibe I've ever gotten from a restaurant, or was it a cafe? It's called Cafe Biblio, but it was more like a restaurant. The food was also quite confusing because some of it was Italian, some of it was Lebanese. I got a very confused vibe overall. It didn't feel like a premium restaurant, but it didn't feel like an affordable mid-tier restaurant either. So overall, very confused vibes. The final unanimous verdict by my friends is. Confused. confused. Everybody's confused. If overpriced fancy restaurants are not your thing, I've also done a video reviewing some really non-burger snacks on the affordable side in Islamabad. So you can check out that video right here.